The first up is the Bioessence Deep Cleansing Milk. Now this bottle has an open and closed tab on the top. Make sure you turn it to open before pressing out one pump. A normal face uh, or just normal makeup just requires one pump to clean off your face. Use this product on a dry face to increase its effectiveness. You could use it on wet skin but it won't be as effective. Then massage your face for an hour, uh, for a minute, not an hour. For a minute, this is so that all the makeup that's attached to your skin gets loosened up. So when you wash it off, it totally comes off. When you're done with your cleansing milk, you need to wash your face. You could use a wet sponge, like the one I'm using, to clean your face. Or you could use a tissue paper to wipe off the cleansing milk and then rinse your face off with water. Just make sure that your face is dry after that to prepare your skin for the next step. Next up in the series are the three cleansing products, which is the Deep Exfoliating Gel, the Nourishing Foamy Cleanser, and the Nourishing Deep Cleanser. First product I'm going to be showing you is the Deep Exfoliating Gel. This works exactly how as you would use a scrub but it doesn't have any harsh contents, uh, harsh uh, materials in there that might stretch your skin while you're using it. Now, to use this product, your hands and face have to be dry. If your hands and face are wet for any reason, it's going to make this product ineffective because when you put this product onto dry skin and you massage it on, what happens is your dead skin loosens up and becomes this white ball you'd probably see on my face later on on this video and when that happens is that like basically means the product is working you have to massage your face until all wetness of the product is gone that means it doesn't feel wet anymore or all, all you feel is dry skin and like beaded stuff take a tissue paper you wipe it off okay and that's that if you feel that your skin requires a second round go ahead use it one more time do the whole process all over again and then we move on to the next step which is washing the face with the cleansers. I'm going to be using the Nourishing Foamy Cleanser to wash my face. This is a facial wash and this facial wash is suitable for oily to normal skin. There is the other facial wash which is the, which is the Nourishing Deep Cleanser and that is suitable for dry to normal skin. I'm going to put a good amount in my hand. I'm going to be lathering that up with a little bit of water to create a nice foam and I'm going to be washing my face. Remember not to neglect your under chin area and your neck when you wash your face because those skin are delicate as well. Once you're done washing, use a wet sponge to wash off the soap from your face or if you are at the sink, just rinse it off with water and pat your skin dry. Next is the Deep Nourishing Toner. Now you can use this with a cotton where you can, I think I press two pumps into the cotton or you could put it into a spray bottle and you can spray it across your face. This product does not contain alcohol so I really, really love this product. And one thing I like to do about toner is try to push it up onto your skin in an upward motion instead of dragging it down. After the toner, you could use an eye cream, patting it from out to corners of your eyes, to the inner corner of your eyes. Don't forget the temples of your face as well, because you do get COVID there. After that, you use the Radiant Youth Essence. You do not need to use a cotton with this. All you got to do is put some product onto your fingers and pat it onto your skin. Immediately after that is the facelifting cream. Now, this is star product of Bio Essence as well. At least in my opinion. So much so that it gave you a measuring tape. This is so that you can measure and see how much you actually lost by using this cream. You need to start off the measuring tape by putting it at the edge of your nose all the way to the edge of your ear. Do it for the other side as well. You need to use just a small dollop. You dot it onto your cheekbones, your chin, your forehead and your nose and you massage it in. Once you're done, massage most of the a bit in, then you massage your face both at the cheek and chin area and your under chin area for you to lose as much millimeters as possible. Massage this area for 3 minutes and when you're done, 
measure your face again. For this video, I lost 2 millimeters on both sides. Now that's 2 millimeters only for both sides for one attempt. Okay, imagine if you use this every day. I'm going to show you a picture on my blog of the before and two weeks after and tell me if you see a difference because I did. It might not be a plastic surgery difference, but it is still a difference because my cheekbones look sharper, my chin looks sharper, it's no longer so rounded, it's no longer so fat, and I did not change any of my other routines. See you.